If the thief is caught out, he must repay sevenfold. Satan is a thief from the beginning. He only came to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus was manifested for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. It does not help me, I cast out devils out of you without purpose. Satan came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. When he steals from you, he's killing you. This killing does not mean only you dying and stop breathing. You can be on your feet, breathing, but dead, like a zombie. And Jesus called us to set zombies free. A zombie is a person who has been robbed from many blessings, and he came to such a point that he's so empty, there's nothing left in him. Many people today are zombies to different degrees. A person who lives in poverty is also in some area in his life a type of zombie. He can do no good. Because the reason why we got material blessings is to bless the people around us. And you will benefit by that yourself because God will not withhold from you also nothing. So a person who lives in poverty is in that area of material blessing. He is a zombie. He can do nothing. He cannot bless his neighbor. He cannot bless his wife. He cannot bless his children. He cannot bless himself even. He cannot help to further the gospel of Jesus. That's why Jesus said to John, let him know what the disciples, tell John the poor hear the gospel. So that the poor will not remain poor. It is not God's will for the poor to remain poor. When that woman came with that very expensive perfume and put it on, the, on Jesus, preparing him for his crucifixion, Jesus said, they were complaining because of the expensive perfume that has been wasted now. Jesus said, leave her. You don't know what she's doing. She's preparing me for my burial. Then he said, the poor you will always have with you, but I will leave. This woman was maybe gave her everything to Jesus on that day, and later on she received the reward. She gave everything unto Jesus, everything she had. She could get money for that, but she decided to give it to Jesus and to prepare him for crucifixion and burial with that expensive perfume. The poor you will always have among you because you will always have people who ignore God's principles. Poverty does not come only because people do not give their tithe and offering, but because they live in sin. They do not obey God. When you get a material breakthrough or financial breakthrough, it's because God is pleased with you in many other areas of your life too. But also giving your tithe. The one who does not give his tithe and his offering got no authority in a spiritual realm because Satan is a thief. And if you're a thief yourself, how can you cast out the thief? That the Bible, does the Bible not say in, in Malachi that you are robbing God? How can a robber try to cast out a thief? You will have no authority. If you're a robber, you will have no authority. I shared with some people here, as many people steal from their work, time. They do not give a full day's work. They just do because they know at the end of the month I'll get my money. That is also stealing time from your employer. So you don't you steal time from your employer, you don't give a full, a full day's work. You're sitting, you're doing nothing. Then you face the thief, Satan. And you want to cast out Satan. Satan laughs at you and says, you challenge me, let me show you. And he challenges you back and he steals even more from you. Because you yourself, you're a robber. If you're a robber, what authority will you have? If you steal work time, you steal from God's tithe and offering, what authority will you have? 
Jesus wants to help you. Don't be a robber. A robber cannot cast out a thief. That thief will steal more from him. So what do I say? I don't sp only speak about your tithe and your offering. I say stealing time from your work, from your employer, is theft. If the thief is caught out, he must repay sevenfold. If Satan steals from you, or any person steals from you, and you say, ach, it's nothing, you actually invite him to steal from you again. So when someone steals from me, I do not let him go free. You say, Pastor, don't you forgive him? If it's on a personal level, I forgive him. But I don't let him go free. I can forgive the murderer, but he will go to jail.